What's going on, everybody? It's Rico Lindo from Advanced Networks. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Anyways, uh, one of the biggest fights in IT that I've had, and I've had 30 years experience, has always been remotely removing software that does not want to be removed. So when it comes to things like that, we got to work on scripts and behind the scenes, batch files, and all of this other stuff to get things to really remove correctly. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys a little script that I created, and this doesn't have to be pushed via the software that I'm using, which is a Terra. It's our RMM system that allows us to connect to certain customers and do all the behind the scenes stuff. But I really wanted to kind of show you the script that I have created for the system today in regards to McAfee. Not in McAfee, you guys use McAfee, that's great. Uh, that's another software that we enjoy. And what happens is every single customer that downloads Adobe does not pay attention and accidentally click the solid Adobe automatically. So McAfee takes a lot of resources on your computer and just really makes everything grinding slow. And yes, there's other antiviruses that we'd rather be using, et cetera. So I'm gonna show you what the script looks like. It's just a batch file that I kind of put together and see what it was. Let me make this uh, full screen so you guys can see this. Um, and I know it's probably still gonna to be too small, but I will include it in the comments. So basically what I'm doing is uh, through my website, I'm actually uh, having a zip file up there with the files that I need to remove McAfee. And then I'm having it to transfer locally to the, to the local machine in a folder that I crea create under C apps. You can have it go anywhere. It doesn't have to go here, but that's where I put it. I go C apps antivirus, McAfee, yada, yada, whatever. So we end up doing it to this location. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna give you guys the the key that I used. And let me put it here on the system so you guys can see the line. So this is the line where it basically it's, uh, it calls a trans file online and grabs it from my website and this is a zip file, and it puts it locally on that. There's more to the batch file than just the transfer, but this is the actual transfer itself. So then what it does then uses a PowerShell uh, script, and I'm gonna show that to you guys as well. And what the PowerShell script is doing is it's going to that folder and extracting my path or my zip file into where it needs to be and then finally, within the same PowerShell, and this is gonna be a little bit longer, so again, this is something I'll put in the comments so you guys can have it. But what it's gonna do is in PowerShell, it's gonna call this system and do a few things. It's gonna call executable that will remove McAfee in a clean way of doing it. It'll stop the services. It'll kind of go through the entire system of all the different pieces it needs to remove silently and be gone and so on. So we've tested it with a couple of customers and it works nice. Now this is for something like you have two, 300 nodes or computers you gotta remove it from and you gotta go buy one. That just seems ridiculous. What we end up doing is we end up putting it in a format that really just grabs the file, removes it, puts it on your computer and so on and so on. So just kind of wanted to kind of show that to you guys here. Again, I'll put it in the comments what you can do is download the zip file um, through the batch. I'll give it to you guys in text format and then rebuild it, put it into your own server, upload it. Now, do you need to have it in an online server? You do not. You can actually have it on your network, put it on a server somewhere and have it call the file from the server. We just have so many customers around the globe, so we got to have it hosted somewhere and then have it transferred to each one. Now, if you want to know how we end up doing it, from our sense, we're using our Terra software, it's actually a pretty simple way to do it. I'm gonna look at all my devices that I've got here. And again, it's too small to see, but um, I can select one device, I can select all the devices, and then I go to my scripts. And when my scripts comes up, I find the McAfee one. And then I, once I select them all, I hit run, boom, it goes down the list, and then eventually it will give me my results in the event viewer showing how it ran and if it did well or did not do well and so on and so on. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick rundown 
on how that script is ran and I will add it to the comments here so you guys can enjoy it and see it and hopefully it helps you get rid of that. Now, you can take the application, any file that you or any application you want to get rid of and create its own silent version as well. So usually you just have to look at scripts and you can find that on Google and anywhere else. Just look for the word silent uninstall or silent install and things like that. And that'll definitely get through the whole thing. Okay, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, send me an email. I will put our website information here so you guys can check it out. And here is our support. If you want to go to our website and put in a support ticket, we can help you out. Also, you can just reach social media, find us on here, slash AWSOL, and then we can help you out as well. And then old school way, you know, go to the website, get our phone number, give us a call. Let me know if you need any help or put some comments here. Let me know what you think. All right, I'll talk to you soon.